Hi, this is Lou Adler. In this podcast, I want to discuss the concept of alignment and fit. It's based on my book, Hire With Your Head, and the principles involved in performance-based hiring. If you're not familiar with performance-based hiring, there's four fundamental principles. Principle one, if you want to hire a great person, you better have a great job. Principle two, if you want to find great people, look for where good people hang out and write messages that appeal to them. Process three is a you have to conduct a complete assessment of the candidate's competency and motivation to do the work, which means you have to define the work and you have to understand uh, the context and the environment behind that work. That's what we're going to focus on today, understanding the environment and what I call job fit. The fourth piece is you have to close the deal on career movement, not compensation increases. So let's get right into what I call alignment and fit. And there's a couple of components to that, and they're all important. Let's look at the top level, and I call alignment top to bottom, but we're going to get at job fit in this podcast. On the left, I have the slow-paced, rule-bound companies. They are the bureaucracies. On the right, I have companies that are going through rapid change. These are the startups, the entrepreneurial ventures, sometimes well-funded, sometimes not. Companies that are rapidly growing want to move to the middle, which is an even-paced, flexible uh, environment where they can deal with all economic conditions and changes. On the right, slow, bureaucratic. They also want to move to the center. It's unlikely, though, that someone's been successful going from left to to right is not going to be successful going from right to left. Those are different environments and they have to be taken into account. Second on the list is the idea of job type. Some jobs are very structured. Those on the left, heavy accounting, a bureaucracy, heavy process controls where Six Sigma is the key. To those on the right where it's more loose, more open-ended, uh, more creative marketing, creative product design, and those in the middle. Could be product marketing, could be sales, could be uh, production as you're launching a new product, but there's always a degree of structure to the job from loose on the right to heavy and intense on the left. On top of that, another important component of fit is the manager style and manager's personality. We know some managers are uh, to the left very controlling, those on the right much more hands off, more healthy is in the middle. Supervisors and trainers tend to be uh, needed in more process intensive jobs. Coaching delegators more involved in loose to moderate uh, kinds of positions. Then you add the candidate style and personality as well. Sometimes the style is just the way they like to do work. It's the, how much direction that person needs. On the left, you have the very dependent person. On the right, you have the very independent person. In the middle, you have the structured and trainable person who works in a process type environment. To the uh, right of center, you have the coachable, manageable person who, can work, who prefers to work in a looser environment with a little more independence. But the idea is you do need structure from top to bottom. Uh, and what I see is that sometimes we uh, cross paths and we don't recognize the importance of alignment top to bottom. For example, let's assume you have a company that's been growing rapidly for the last two or three years. It's really trying to move to the steady state center position. Well, they... In, in this case, maybe they're going public and they need to add a controller and they have to add a high degree of accounting process and controls. Well, right away, you've got a zigzag fashion there. Now, let's assume in the same model uh, that the CFO, the number one financial person, is more on the right-hand side, coach or delegator, but more focusing externally on the financial stuff, adequate at accounting, but not heavy in the process. Well, right, and let's assume the person you have to hire is heavily on the structured trainable side. So right away, you got this zigzag pattern that unless you address it properly, you're going to have a, a problem with fit when you ultimately hire the person. So thinking about it slightly differently, okay, so we've got a company that's more to the right moving towards the center. The job structure itself, however, is to the left. It's a significant structured job. You got the hiring manager who's a person who's on the right. If you hire your typical controller who's structured, you know, good person, structured and trainable, but doesn't overlap in any of those situations, you have a real problem. The person, number one, has to be able to uh, work in an environment where we can move from rapid change to structure and has to be able to work with a person who isn't going to give a lot of direction or controls and, in fact, could actually get in the way. Well, that's what alignment is all about, top-to-bottom alignment. You rarely get it in the job because of all these changing circumstances. So what you have to do is find people who have the horizontal breadth. People, if you're gonna, and it really comes down to you're probably not going to get rid of the manager. So make sure uh, you have alignment there and look for people who have flexibility from manageable, coachable, trainable, and structured environments that can work well in that. And they can build people and work with people in all those environments. You do that, you'll be hiring a heck of a lot better people every single time. 
I hope this was helpful. If you'd like more information, send me an email at info at We look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you very much.